Hello again. It's Monday, March 2nd, 2020. This is Journal TV and I'm Jerry Clark. It's time for the news. It's probably the most innovative, successful event of its kind in the region. The fourth annual Pink Tie Gala, an anti-breast cancer effort here, came off very successfully last Saturday night at the Masonic Theater. So far, more than $30,000 has been raised. Listen. We are very proud to announce that we have been busy as little lightning bugs putting together a local organization that will assist area cancer fighters with individualized gifts of love. Giving light to our warriors, or GLOW as we call it, is up and running and has already begun helping in our area with things such as utility, food, and gasoline assistance as well as sharing hope, encouragement, and light. A group has formed in the Allegheny County area calling itself the Mountaineer Minutemen Militia, better known as M3, and a sign-up event was held last Saturday afternoon near the old Kmart building in Covington. The purpose of the group is patriotism and community assistance, the group's board of directors told the 100-plus people who turned out. Watch. That's why we're here. We're calling all of you to stand up and defend our rights and keep patriotism alive in our great country and this great nation. God. And now a word from our sponsor. The Allegheny Foundation announced Saturday that it had made more than $1.2 million in grants to a host of area organizations and community efforts. Log on to AlleghenyJournal.com right now for the full story and a complete list of all those grants. Eunice Kraft turned 101 on Monday. She was joined by a couple dozen friends, relatives, and associates at the Scott Hill Retirement Community earlier today. When asked, what is your secret to long life, Eunice honestly replied, I have no idea. And we'll be right back. Let's take a look at some upcoming events. And now for local obituaries. Alice Maudsley Lehman, 89, formerly of Hot Springs, died February 20th. Virginia Winfrey, 79, of Lexington, died last Wednesday. Rohi Cawley, 82, of Millboro, died last Friday. Sandy Suggs, 55, of Covington, died last Friday. Francis Mays, 83, of Clifton Forge, died on Saturday. Guy Seitz, 84, of Covington, died last Friday. Floyd Roberts, 84 of Clifton Forge, died February the 12th. More information on all obituaries may be found on AlleghenyJournal.com. Pre-planning a funeral presents a loving and considered gift to your family. Making decisions now provide a framework for future choices. We invite you to stop by the funeral home. Let us answer any questions you may have about pre-funding or pre-arranging a funeral service. Let's check out the local weather forecast. On Tuesday, it should be mostly cloudy with showers high of 63 and a low of 41. 
On Wednesday, partly cloudy with isolated showers, high of 59 and a low of 36. And on Thursday, partly cloudy with scattered showers, high of 54 and a low of 36 degrees. But there's very good news coming up. There's only 17 more days until springtime in Virginia. And that's the way it is on Monday, March 2nd, 2020. More stories, photos, videos, and interviews are available 24-7, 365 on AlleghenyJournal.com, YouTube, and on our soaring Facebook page. Thanks very much for watching Journal TV.